Hello, everyone, and welcome to our homes. Um, Roger and I are back, and we want to have a discussion about gratitude. Um, I am Lou Urban. I'm a transformational coach and energy worker, and my co-host is... I'm Roger Dawson. I am um, a certified law of attraction life coach, practitioner, hypnotherapist, and a light body graduate, and looking forward to discussing gratitude. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, tell me about those goosebumps, Roger. Ooh, that might be somebody talking to me. You never know. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, but I'm grateful for that. I really am. So. Yes. Yes. So gratitude is a pretty large subject. Um, we just had a short conversation about it, and it is all, encompass, all encompassing because really our whole life is about gratitude. How, gra how grateful we are um, really does dictate the abundance that we have in our life. Um, so Roger, do you want to tell us, start out maybe by telling us about uh, what your daily success or daily gratitude habits are? Happy to. I will share with you that when my eyes open up in the morning, first thing I think, oh, thank you for another divinely inspired day. Oh, you and I then, and then my feet step out of bed and then I turn off the house alarm and I'm thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know, all the way down the stairs, let the dog out. And so that's where, the, what my, where, where I start. And, you know, and I'll tell you, there's been days where I've stubbed the toe on the way down the stairs and different things, but you know, I, you know, it's funny how, life will throw you a little off but you kind of get back to it i get up i have a meditation part of my meditation is gratitude things i'm grateful for i work out um and during my workout process to kind of keep it exciting and to keep my mind going besides listening to music which i'll enjoy but um i dig into all the things that i'm thankful for and i kind of use a 68 second process that i got from abraham hicks and that is I really think, you know, so I am thankful, I am thankful, I am thankful. And I do that for at least 68 seconds, probably more like two to three minutes, sometimes longer. And then I get into all the things that I'm thankful for. And it's everything from feelings to materialistic things to my mom and my dad, to the dog, to the house, to Lou Urban. <laughs> Seriously, you make the list too. You know, and so, awesome. So those are the things I do. And I will tell you, as I go throughout my day, um, I, today I looked up and I was doing something and it was, it was a little, you know, busy, a little bit of stress going on. Mm -hmm. And I looked up and something happened, got an email, I looked up and it was 11, 11. And I said, Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Cause, cause it brought me back into, then the stress was gone. Everything was fine. You know, and then I end my day with gratitude, you know, and, and I won't, you know, some people are very good about saying prayer. Prayer is kind of a form of gratitude as well. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily a prayer over my food, but I certainly have prayer throughout the day. Um, and I'm one of these people on the way to the, to the, to the, um, coffee machine, to the, uh, bathroom, to a meeting. I think, hmm, thank you. know, thank you. Thank you. Or you're just kind of prefacing it. And one of my key things is I always try to be thankful for something prior to receiving it, you know? So I'm proactively thankful and grateful for something. So those are some of the things that, well, that's what my day looks like. So, so are you telling us that you're really being mindful about being grateful, that that's, that that's a given in your life? You look for those opportunities to be grateful. Is that? Yes. And you said mindful. And it's interesting because, because uh, so in a lot of law of attraction teaching, you know, people talk about the positivity, gratitude, gratitude journal, things like yes. that. Uh, and, and they talk about it becoming second nature, right? So mm -hmm. you don't even know that you're doing stuff. To the, so the subconsciously, you are, in this example, grateful for something. Or you're yes. Grateful for it. And I'm thinking, when she said mindful, I'm thinking, I didn't really, really even think about it because it's just part of my day. It, it's yes. just now subconsciously in my DNA. So, but, but I, that there was a, certainly a time where it was mindful. Absolutely. And I, and I think that that's probably the key to it is that there is a, you know, in order to get into that 
flow of gratitude, mm -hmm. where it becomes just part of your DNA, that there is a part or a time where we have to, you know, nobody wants to talk about disciplining their mind or choosing their behaviors, but it sounds hard. Okay. It does sound hard, but, but it really is, is as easy as that about bringing, being mindful about it for a period of time. And then those things that we do, that we discipline ourselves to do the habits that we get into really do become part of our DNA. And then it's easy to be in that gratitude flow. Yes. So question for you. Um, yeah. So what, what does gratitude mean to you? Um, gratitude means to me. Hmm. That's a good question. Nobody's ever asked me that. I think I know what gratitude looks like for me. Uh, that is being in a state of appreciation for whatever it is that's going on. Like you said, I, I, I start my day out with being appreciative, being grateful for another day. As I'm moving through my day, I look for opportunities to be grateful. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. mindful, you have to be. Sometimes it just comes automatically. Um, uh, and, it's, and that's especially around the people that I interact with. Um, you know, I think that, that probably one of the most challenging things is when you're, when you're um, interacting with somebody who, is, who you don't necessarily resonate with. It makes the interactions a whole lot better when you look for, that's what I mean about being mindful, look for those things that you can be grateful for about in that person yeah. um, so gratitude gratitude to me is being in a space of allowing and grace and appreciation oh. really being in love being in love with everything that's going on yeah that's just blissful <laughs> you know i i hear the little i hear the little church church bell ringing in the background and the bird chirping yeah no that's that's what it is about you know and i think that you know, as we experience things in life, um, you know, and, and those people working with, right, working with those other beings, right? <laughs> yeah. People. Because um, they can certainly bring you to a place of, you know, out of gratitude or out of that appreciation of that. And it's, it, it, it's a journey to get there to welcome their uniqueness in this world. Absolutely. A learning opportunity for you to turn it into a positive, right? And to, to be grateful for that experience because somehow it will it will grow your depth and breadth of, of, of that human experience. And oh my gosh, I just had a download from Source. Okay. Okay. That that gratitude is being in our natural state. And our natural state is one of love, joy, and fun, having fun. <laughs> so, so, what, so gratitude is just allowing that state to be. Instead of getting caught up in all of the judgments or negativity that are going on that, that potentially could, could be going on if we weren't in that space. I love, 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 love that. That is so true. You know, um, I think that mm -hmm. I will tell you what, certainly as I've got off that treadmill sweating, right? <laughs> yeah. Something I just actually, I kind of miss it if I don't do it, but I certainly don't miss it if I, anyway. Um, I am in a, I, I am in a good state of being to go upstairs, shower, get ready to go to work or to go about my day. Um, and that creates a momentum that certainly starts my day. Now, certainly I have, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, I'm going through that some kind of meteor belt or whatever of asteroids coming at me. So I have things that happen um, that, that kind of, but it's kind of fun too, to kind of see how long I can get that state of gratitude and how far I can get into my day before I certainly am thinking, oh, shh, what's going on here? Who, out, out of alignment, out of alignment, and the little, the, the, the little beep beep sound starts going off. So. Um, yeah absolutely i know um when you were talking about being on the treadmill one thing that i wanted to share that i do is and you talked about music before i think music is 
mm. is uh, a catalyst for gratitude. I really do think that, you know, when, you, when you're listening to music that calls to you, whatever, whatever is your soul music, mm-hmm. whenever you're listening to that, it allows that place of greater gratitude. And so one of the things I'll do it, you know, throughout my day is move. And usually it's to music. I love to dance. Um, or or if, I, if I recognize that I'm not in that place of gratitude, turn the music on, get up and dance so that, I get to that place of greater gratitude. It gets you out of that funk, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Totally hear you. You know, something that hit me along the way that I'm going to share is the, the experience of feeling gratitude seems to keep my ego, I need to give him a name, um, keeps it in check. Mm-hmm. You know, because even some of the things I'm gra- grateful for, while they might be feeling in a love thing or whatever, it's, you know, the house, the car, the boat, the whatever, which, which can seem very ego-driven. Yes. But by appreciating those and honoring that, you know, I, I kind of keep that, that ego in, in a, um, a, a, on a leash. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, and, I understand and, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so, so, and so, certainly, you know, I, you know, because I've talked about gratitude, and you know, I, I have an abundance course, and I talk about my daily habits and stuff, and I think that for for me, that is part of how having daily habits of gratitude or whatever it might be, because I have a whole list of stuff that I kind of do. Um, that's part of why it's become part of my subconscious. Yes. And 10 years on this journey, it's become subconscious. It certainly wasn't right away. Uh, well, and, and in contrast, one of the things that, that I think that happens is that, you know, oftentimes we don't like to be, we, we as our soul being, we don't like to be in that place of, of um, things we don't like or things that we don't appreciate. Oftentimes we push those things away. And so, and so what a different experience it would be if, you know, you didn't like your house. Well, you'd look to move, you'd, you know, try to uh, put it on the market right away, whatever it is, you, you'd not want to be in that place anymore. And so I think that, that oftentimes people don't appreciate the things that they do have and then they go away. Because, you know, automatically we go, if we're not appreciating, then we don't appreciate. So let me ask you this. So you and I both work in corporate America. Yes. Right? Yes. So, you know, I don't know about you, but email probably is 95% of my job. For the last 15 years, I've been a professional email person. It's kind of crazy. Um, so just curious, as you send an email or you're responding to an email, how do you, how do you end that email? How do you... Close it out and then. Oh, um, if there's if there's an action that I'm going to take, I highlight that, and then I say thanks with an exclamation point. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's appreciation. I'm sending it out, and sometimes I'll respond depending on how well I know the people, uh, the person who I'm sending it to. Sometimes I, I respond, "Take care." I'm sending them love. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. I do that too. And I will tell you, um, even when it's some, um, somebody that's come to you because something's been wrong or whatever, mm-hmm. I still send it. Thanks. And, and, you know, if it's a Friday, thanks and happy Friday. Yeah. And, and, and I really mean it actually, because maybe I might be the only bright light in their day. Oh, right? totally. I agree with you a hundred percent. Plus, you know, you get more, you get more uh, bees with honey than you do vinegar or whatever the saying is, right? Uh, Absolutely. That, that it's incredible. And I, I see that a lot of people and I don't, and I absolutely do not expect it, but I see a lot of people just send it or it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit more, you know, stealthy professional uh, regards. Or- oh, wonderful point, Roger. Wonderful point. Gratitude is all about having fun too. Mm. I mean, you really have to be a lighthearted in order to be, to have gratitude. And that's about having fun. Yeah. Yeah. You've gone to fun quite a bit. And, and, and you know, the, I've got to go there because 
I know we're talking about gratitude, but that's part of the fun. It um, is. Because we're on this flipping earth to have fun. And we, I think that just in general, if you just look at society, we, I have to remind myself, Ooh, this is about having fun, not about getting too far in the weeds. Now, granted, yes. you know, is death fun? No. No, but. Well, you know, maybe. That's, that's a judgment. Maybe it is fun. I don't know. <laughs> well, and I'll tell you. When I get to go home, am I going to have more fun? Maybe. Well, you know, I know it depends on your belief on death, but, but certainly um, I've been to some hellacious celebrations of that person that have been the best times of my life. So, again, it's interesting. Fun, you brought fun up several times and how that plays into being grateful on, on yeah. just this conversation because yeah. as you and every time you and I interact, I'm grateful for you because it grows, it grows me as who I am as a co-creating being on this planet. Oh, and uh, Roger, I couldn't agree more. You are just so wonderful. So, been such a blessing in my life. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, I tell you, uh, the momentum that comes out of just, you know, it's kind of like that. It's, I guess the, the, the smile that you give to somebody on an elevator is also a form of, of, of gratitude. Absolutely. It, it's, it's sharing that, that we're all one. We're all here. We're here to have fun. You know, it's it, it, certainly that's why I don't watch much news. Right. Uh, um, yeah, me either. You know, and, and, or, you know, and, and while I probably am pretty active on social media, I can scroll pretty fast past something I'm not interested in. Um, and trust me, that's been a journey because because sometimes I can be like the deer in the headlight going right for the headlights with the, with the negative news. But, but I have, I have, I tell you what, this last political season, I really have been able to kind of just roll past it because I have a uh, just a, a wide breadth of friends and love them all, um, you know. And um, and in turn, the, all the people I know out there are the friends with me. They love people too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And it doesn't surprise me that you say that, that you have massive friends because Roger, you know, you, you have always been so supportive and appreciative of me. I just, it, I know that you're doing that with everybody and you attract people because of that positivity, because of that support, because of that gratitude. <laughs> You keep having all those people come to you. It does not surprise me whatsoever. You know, I, I, kind, of, I kind of equate gratitude like um, the, the food that we all need. You know, um, mm -hmm. if you're going to, you know, everybody wants to be loved and appreciated. Everybody, that's part of us. That's part of who we are. And so, and so if we're showing that to other people through our actions, through our words, then they're going to be, they're going to come back to that same source over and over again. They're, yep, friends, lots of friends. Well, you know, and something that came to me, um, you know, I, I don't know why I'm going back to our corporate roots, but so for me, some of the best promotions that I've ever received or bonuses or trips or whatever have come in the form of recognition and recognition is a form of gratitude. Absolutely. It is. Yes. And in turn, I go a little bit more above and beyond and it comes back with the great, because I am then grateful for the recognition, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't know how you feel about in your corporate space, but that certainly has been my experience. Yes. Uh, it become it almost becomes a mutual admiration society. When one person shows gratitude to the other, the other person can't help but show gratitude back, and it becomes this supportive, loving uh, relationship that that would have never been if you hadn't have shown gratitude in the first place. Yeah, I'm telling you, and a lot of that comes in the form of an email. I've got them all saved. <laughs> Absolutely, me too. Me too. They're really, the ones that resonated with my heart. Because, you know, occasionally if I'm having a bad day, I'll, I'll go there to think, well, wait a minute, I got this far, so this must be just something new that's going to make me a stronger being to get to that next level of whatever I'm going to Yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, my friend, 
Do you think maybe we should, you and I could talk forever. About we that, could. And when you said that, I thought of Carol, the Carol Burnett show, how she ended her show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so glad we had this time together. Oh, okay, I won't sing, promise. <laughs> People are going to think, I'm just, well, I, I am a special person. You're just, we're blessed to know each other. So, <laughs> Absolutely, we are. So, yes. Um, Lou, tell us about um, your website and how we can get in contact with you. Sure. Um, yeah, I do have a website, lourban.com. If you'd like to know more about me or what I, what I do, um, please feel free to go there. And Roger also has a website. Yeah, so I'm rogerkdawson.com. Um, feel free to go there. I need to update a couple of things to uh, talk about my recent uh, hypnotherapy certification and light body uh, graduation that I went through, but uh, it has my contact there and my email address as well. So um, feel free to reach out. would love to, to have a conversation because that's what this is about, a conversation that can lead to um, achieving your desires, dreams, and goals, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So from the two of us, yes. till the next time. Yes. Have a great Bye. day, guys.